up Sunrise. This is a song that came from sitting on my dear friend Otha Turner's front porch back in the early 90s, back when I was just a kid. Uh, my friend and I, R.L. Boyce, we, would, uh, we both played guitars. And we would uh, sit over on Otha's porch on in the evening and uh, play, you know, play, the, play the night away. And uh, after Otha passed, I... Uh, I went through all my tapes because I used to bring a video camera whenever I'd go down to Others and just throw it in the corner. And I wasn't trying to film anything. I was just recording the audio. So uh, I went through the tapes and transcribed all of Others' lyrics and organized them into a few different tunes, this Hurry Up Sunrise being one of them. And, uh, and to me, Hurry Up Sunrise is just such a pretty melody. <laughs> I, that, that's just it. It's not how Othar sang it, but to me that was just stuck in my heart. Because that, that's, the, that's the groove of Othar's front porch. And um, when I brought this song to my father back in 2005, he realized that it was a duet, which is so, it was so perfect because you read the lyrics, it totally makes sense as a duet. And uh, Dad, you know, that's exact, that's, he was so good at what he did. Um, and he invited Lucinda Williams to sing it with me. Um, but it was more of a rock and roll version. So when I came to do the blues and ballads, I invited my dear soul sister, Miss Charday Thomas, who's Othar's granddaughter. And she's the heir apparent, you know. Othar taught her to play the fife, and she carries on the fife and drum hill country tradition solely with her family. And, uh, She's just my queen. She's the queen of the hills. And uh, she plays the drums on the track and sings a song with me. And it just means so much to sing her grandfather's song with her. You know, it's, it's like a love song to him. Hurry Up Sunrise is a great vehicle to explain how I look at finger picking. Um, growing up, in my youth, I used to finger pick like this, like... Almost strumming with my with my fingers like that, hitting the downbeats with my thumb. But then I was studying Mississippi John Hurt, and I was trying to learn the tunes. And I just couldn't get all the information out, and that's when I realized this is pre-internet, kids. I couldn't go look at YouTube now. So when I figured out with my ears, that you had to get that thumb moving. That is a hard habit to break. But you gotta get that thumb moving. One and two and or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's like the back beat, the bass drum, bass, 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 snare, bass, snare. And so you're getting the, the bass and the snare drum if you relate it to the drum set with your thumb. So and if you want to play some advanced finger picking, be it Fred McDowell, Mr. B. John Hurt, Doc Watson, you know, whoever, you gotta get that thumb alternating. So when you move your fingers into the into it, to simplify the experience, I say that it's only two motions. You're either gonna be pinching the strings, playing them together. is more rare than going alternating, which you're basically just moving, just waving your hand back and forth. Of course, you can be more precise with it, but I'm just trying to simplify it and show you that Dwayne Burnside told me, he's like, man, you want your guitar playing to sound effortless, you know? It's supposed to sound easy. And then watching R.L. Burnside, that's where I learned, like, he picks way up here. And he's swinging so hard, but he's playing so light. And of course, you can be super precise. And that's funky, especially syncopated. I mean, staccato. But me personally, I, I don't have the endurance to hold that up all night. The way I play is light and loose. 
I like uh, light strings with high action. The G string. Even on my acoustic guitars, I keep an unwound 24 on my acoustics so I can slide and so they don't squeak. So to get a little hurry up Sunrise RO Boogie going. Your thumb is going to hit the low string, the sixth string, fourth string, sixth string, and then the fifth string. And when you hit the fifth string, you're going to hammer on on the third fret. that happening you can put the upbeats in with your finger and like I said it's just like simple as waving your hand I like to practice on the seam in my jeans because it's just enough resistance because it's just a muscle you got to get together Have fun.